still on education matters. Gitwamba Primary School in Rwai, Kasarani, constituency in Nairobi is appealing for help after one of its classroom blocks developed cracks, forcing the school administration to transfer pupils. School head teacher Joseph Njoroge says the block of eight classrooms serving over 600 pupils is a threat to the pupils and the entire school, forcing the administration to erect canvas tents in the fields to serve as classrooms. Dickens Levanda visited the school and filed for us the following report. Over 600 pupils at Gitwamba Primary School in Ruai Kasarani Sub-County, Nairobi County have been forced to continue the learning activities outside classrooms after their one-story building classroom block developed cracks. Shule budget hiko, sindio? Shule ijengwe, ijengwe upia that will fit the current curriculum ya CBC. Mini mzazi wa hapa, ni kono watoto wa wili, kuna mingine pia mesome hapa na memaliza. Sasa Friday watoto walikuja nyumbani wakatuambia class ina bomoka. Ina crack na kuna watoto walikuwa hata wana faint juu ya kustuka juu. Hiyo, hiyo nini? Wali affect wana hiyo kitu. So leo vinyo tulikuja hapa subi, tulifika hapa saa moja tukiwa wazazi katha. Na tujatoka hapa kutoka subui, tukidemand, tujue nini kutaenda aje. According to the school headmaster Joseph Njirogi, who has called for help from well wishes, the block which houses eight classrooms is awaiting disaster to the entire school administration. We have a, a block of eight classrooms which started developing cracks. That was some few years ago, but now the cracks are uh, getting more worse. And now we had to relocate the 604 pupils for, for emergency purposes in other open areas where they can continue learning. We have already appealed for help. Who can, any person who can come and help so that our peoples can be comfortable. The current population of the school is 1,725. The building which has been condemned was a donation by a well-wisher around the year 2006, but the contractor did a shoddy job. Last week, the experienced building materials dropped from the upper floor, forcing the administration to save the children during a stampede that saw three pupils saved unconscious. <laughs> Hapa ni kusema ya kwamba yule contractor ambaye aliweza kujenga hii shule tumeisunguka tumeona ufa ni kubwa sana na tumeona hakuweka chuma zile ambazo zinastahili Kasarani MP candidate Ronald Karauri who is vying on an independent ticket visited the school where he donated canvas tents so as to shield the affected pupils as a temporary relief measure only for them to be destroyed and stolen on Monday night by a known people Nikasikia kerere kumbe ni watu walikuwa nakimbia na chuma kutoka kwa sura ya kituo mapema shukuru wakituma huko huko chini pande ile kwa karibu na hospitali sasa sisi tukakuta tukaona tukaangalia tukaona ni chuma lakini hiyo watu walitoroka kuna mgombea nzi mwingine the current sitting mp jana usiku aliorganize akaleta magunza hapa wakatoa zile tent tulikuwa tumedonate ndio yeye mwenyewe aikelete tent zake sasa unajua hiyo ni tumefanya hata ikakuwa police case tume report kwa sababu hizo tent zimepotea tunaona hiyo ni kesi ya wizi sababu hizo tents zilipotea tunajaribu kuzitafuta pale ziko but at the same time kwa sababu tuko kwa siasa sasa ni jambo la uzuni sana mtu akianza ku, ku mix mambo ya siasa na mambo ya watoto hiyo ukuta ikiangukia mtoto hakuna mtoto yuko kwa chama yoyote parents who visited the school have raised concerns over the state of the institution considering the huge population of the public school with the little learning facilities the Minister of Education in Kasarani Constituency Member of Parliament Masi Gakuya have been challenged to come to the rescue of the school even as the school administration prepares to briefly close end of June as per the education calendar. <laughs> Deacon Sylvanda, Hope TV News Watch.